I gotta tell you, we're doing something a little different in today's video. We're heading down to Coral Springs, which is in South Florida. It's a couple hundred miles away from the ugly house. I've got a surprise in the back for my mom. She's gonna, oh my goodness, she's gonna be so excited when she sees this thing. It's a robot. So oh, this is it. It's a robotic lawnmower. <laughs> I gotta tell you this, my mom, she's gonna be so surprised. I got something big. <laughs> I got something really big to show you. Ready? I wanna thank Bemotion for sponsoring today's video. Hi everybody, I'm Leah of CJ Drill, and if this, if this is your first time here, can I just say welcome to you? We're a home improvement channel where beginners are welcome as well. Now, at the top of the video, I talked about a robot. See, here's the thing. I've got a mother, she's 85, and she's kind of stubborn because she gets out there with the lawnmower and she cuts the grass by hand. Sometimes it's as high as, you know, 100 degrees. I wanted her to hire a landscaper. And I've talked to her about it, she doesn't listen to me. <laughs> well, I think I outfoxed her because I'm bringing her a robotic lawnmower and it's all wheel drive. You're gonna love this thing. She's gonna love it as well because it's easy peasy in terms of setting it up, which I'm gonna show you how to do, and it's easy to operate. So why don't we just jump right into it? The robotic lawnmower was very well crated. Everything was really protected. Not only that, everything was included in the box to easily set it up and use it that very day. Now, before I decided to set it up at my mother's house, I wanted to really see what this robotic lawnmower could do. So I took it to a huge open field, and then I gave it a few obstacles to encounter, like a drain, and then I had it climb up a hill and encounter a curb. I wanted to do some off-the-road stuff with it, just to see how well it would perform under conditions that were less ideal. Now, beyond testing the lawnmower out on rugged terrain, well, I gotta tell you, the tech nerd came out in me because I was curious about the camera and the quality of the camera that's attached to the lawnmower. I wanted to see how clear that picture was gonna come through on my cell phone. And it was crystal clear. See the features of the Luba Mini all-wheel drive robotic lawnmower? Well, here they are. What you're looking at here is a docking station and it's also a charging station because when the robotic lawnmower isn't in use, well, it docks here and charges. And what you have to think of it as is like this docking station acts like a garage for the outside for, well, your robotic lawnmower. Don't be fooled by these very aggressive looking tires in front. They really serve a purpose. They have spinning, segmented sections of the tire that help with the turns. And it's separated to really dig into the terrain as well. I'm gonna pull up on the front bumper here and you can see how it flexes so that it can adapt to uneven terrain. Now I gotta tell you this, the robotic lawnmower comes fully assembled. All I had to do was attach the camera to the front of the lawnmower. That was really about it, folks. Now that camera is a very important part of the robot because it lets the robotic lawnmower know if there's any obstacles in the way and then, well, it steers clear. Now, if you elect the garage accessory, that's eh, gonna take you a minute or two to snap the parts together, but they go together quite easily. Now let me show you how to set up the Luba Mini all-wheel drive robotic lawnmower. It's time to install our camera. You want to make certain that the face of the camera is facing forward. Now we place it right here underneath this plate here. There we go. If you notice, there are connections here and there are corresponding connections on the bottom of our camera. And that's how you'll want to install it, you know, white to white, black to black, and silver to silver. Now they give you this tool to make it easy for you to install the fasteners. 
you want to find a nice level area to, well, place your docking station. And they give you these anchors to make it possible for you to secure the station to the ground so that when the lawnmower docks itself, it doesn't move or jilt the station. Now, once you get that done, take the garage, place it over the station. They also include those same anchors to make securing it to the ground possible. Now what you're looking at, this component is called the RTK reference station and it attaches to the charging station which is really just your docking station, okay? Now this little port, this is where the antenna goes and we're just going to screw that right in and maybe you're wondering, Leah, what the heck is an RTK reference station? Well folks, what it is, is it talks to the whole system, it talks to your lawn more, it tells it where to go in simple terms. Our RTK station is attached to a pole. It screws together and it has a stand here with a stake that screws right into it. That way you can really secure it to the ground. Now this is our power cord here. It's just time to power the unit up completely. Now I need to check this out. This is my smartphone here, and I'm using my smartphone to map out the front yard so our robotic lawnmower can start cutting the grass. Start mapping a task area. Well, Ma, I got something big. <laughs> I got something really big to show you. Ready? Really? Turn around. Take a look at it. Turn around. What is that? Well, that oh. is your new lawnmower, Ma, because you've been out here cutting the grass in the heat. Oh, Leah, this <laughs> is fantastic. I love it. I'm going to place a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. This is Leah saying, you, you can do this. See you next time.